This is the first Mario figure known to man. I see myself as a video game merchandise preservationist and historian. This is my four foot Mario statue. This is the Zelda corner. Who thought about having this item and who approved it? <laughs> I'm Brett Martin and I'm the owner of the world's largest video game collection. So Guinness came to my house at one point and took a count of the collection. And they came up with the number 8,030. I know I have more now, so I might be in the ballpark of 15,000 to 20,000 items. I have been a gamer since I could hold a controller. Well, clearly my favorite game was Super Mario Brothers. Three. This is the figure that my parents got me. It sort of kicked off the whole thing. It's a 1989 applause figure of Mario holding a mushroom. Rarest part of the collection, it's the world of Nintendo cabinet. The rarest item is the Fox McCloud prototype figure. I love this little bit right here, the question mark. That is a placeholder for an item that they were going to include in the figure that they hadn't figured out. Really, Mario was a completely different ball game. And then once you got started with like Legend of Zelda and Mega Man and stuff like that, it was just a different era of gaming than what came before. And I think that's what saved video games. Here's another figure right here. This is the first Mario figure known to man. This figure is dated 1981, so it's actually a Donkey Kong figure because this is Jumpman. It's probably the oldest figure in my collection. So I had some disposable income once I got a job, so I went on eBay looking to find the rest of those sets, and I found a bunch of other sets. And then I just kept finding stuff and finding stuff, and then I outgrew eBay, went over to Yahoo Japan Auctions, where I was importing things directly from Japan. And that's when it really blew up. Here's the ceramic cookie jar. I'm just going to turn them around here. It's really cool that he's kind of coming out of the egg, but of course it's incorrect. I mean, a baby Yoshi would come out of the egg. Here I'm talking about basically the island, or statue island as I like to call it, just a lot of the first four figure statues that I have. And we're talking about Link on Epona, which is probably my favorite on the whole island, giant Ganondorf here, you got Bowser over there. A most valuable item in my collection is prototype figures because they're the only one in existence. Well there's items that I wish to have in this collection that I don't know if I'll ever be able to get. It is just eluding me at every turn. It's the Mechabon figure from Super Mario Land. He is a finger puppet, he's very small, and I have the complete other set, but I don't have him, and it's driving me nuts! My collection really started out on top of an entertainment center, if you remember those things. And then, in this house, we built a room for it. So we finished a room that was already part of the house, but we finished it to be a collection room, and it's just chock full, as you can see. Okay, so here we go into the room. As you can see, I got a few things in here. So I really try to keep my budget for under $500 an item, but if anyone knows anything about first four figures, their statues are going well above $500 now. Everything's gone. Exponential growth, especially the Legend of Zelda items. Everything that I've bought I think is worth way more than I bought it at. So. In 2012, the collection was appraised at about $225,000. I felt that was fair at the time. I've certainly got a lot more high value items since then. It's still around there, maybe 275, something like that. Okay, boys, what do we have here? I have the proton pack and the gun. Well, my wife is tolerant of the collection. She's not a super big fan. She doesn't really play video games, which might astonish you, but I have an 11 year old so and a 10 year old a and around. a three year old and a 15 right, month old and soon on. to have a baby, so. Um, obviously the toddlers especially really want to get in here and play a lot. Yeah! Oh, his first jump? Definitely into gaming. I, I think I raised them to be interested in gaming. Boy. Cool. And... Dr. Light. It's, it's really fun to watch their own gaming experience. I think we all collect something. I personally like collecting because it gives me a sense of direction. It gives me a sense of purpose. When I complete a set, that is a really great feeling. I can't tell you whether I'll be collecting for my whole life or not. It's hard to stop, I'll tell you that. But I'm almost out of room as it is, and there's stuff coming out every day. I don't know, 20 years from now, maybe I'll set up a museum or something.